A Police State Government Oppression Watchdog Guide Chapter 1 An oppressive government that restricts freedom is close to a police state. A police state or straight brainwash. A society whose citizens refuse to see and investigate the facts, who refuse to believe that their government and their media will routinely lie to them and fabricate a reality contrary to verifiable facts, is a society that chooses and deserves the police state dictatorship it's going to get. Ian Williams Goddard The suppression of truth has long been among the highest priorities for the upper echelons of power and authority. For a minority elite that clings to power by the manipulation of the masses using an omnipresent cocktail of lies, deception, mass-produced ignorance, and ingrained propaganda, the destruction of truth is an essential method of control. It is a formula that has worked to unmitigated success for the elite throughout history, whether the shadows of power stretch from ancient pyramids, marble temples, castles, mansions or halls of governance. Manuel Valenzuela It is remarkable that for more than 230 years the plutocracy has not only successfully kept the majority of the people supporting economic and social policy that is detrimental to the people, they have also kept them from thinking about alternatives that could provide relief from the social and economic injustice wrought by capitalism, among them universal health care and socialized higher education. The government is always waging a cold war against the working class people, whatever their country of origin. As a result, we have evolved into a nation of imperialists addicted to war and other forms of violence, which accrues tremendous wealth and power to the rich, while simultaneously undermining the people's collective welfare and the well-being of the planet. Charles Sullivan Anti-war activists are classified as domestic terrorists. The spirit of law enforcement, according to insiders, has moved away from a local community focus to a federal spirit of dominance and control in the name of national security. The Department of Homeland Security, DHS, the Transportation Security Administration, TSA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, the National Security, NSA, and the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, get lots of public money to fight a war on terrorism for the national interest. This is a vague term at best, to fight a war on terrorism for the national interest. It gives all these agencies lots of money and lots of power. They have an agenda to control the people. Training nowadays branches off into warnings about the dangers of possible homegrown domestic terrorists which may sound like common sense but their definitions of domestic terrorism infringe onto well-intentioned activists, militia groups, and many law-abiding people angry at the government and the waste of money on wars and national security at the expense of actually helping people live better lives. Federal law enforcement and federal trainers have the power, ego, and the ability to go to the extreme in defining anyone they want as suspicious people. They compile lists of suspicious people including peace and anti-war activists. Here are some types of people who qualify as potential domestic terrorists. Libertarians Second Amendment-Oriented Views, NRA, Gun Club Membership, CCW Permit Survivalist Lifestyle literature, self-sufficiency, stockpiling food, living off the grid, conspiracy ideas, easily found by checking internet usage, fear of economic collapse, belief in the book of Revelation, Apocalypse, 666, fears of big brother or big government, homeschooling, declarations of constitutional rights and civil liberties. Belief in a New World Order Conspiracy All they have to do is check your internet usage. A law enforcement guy reported that he was trained to try to get business owners at hunting, fishing, camping, and food stores to notice who was stockpiling stuff and report them to the police. Officers are trained to look for who buys stuff related to materials that homemade explosives are made of such as lengths of pipe, gunpowder, matches, flammable liquids and fireworks. The problem is that they can get so paranoid or just plain desperate to find criminals to prosecute that they target innocent people like they targeted a plumber simply because they work with pipes. They target gun dealers and pest control companies because they can do mass killings and poisonings. By using this logic, anyone with the means to do something criminal can't be trusted. Anti-abortionists are considered religious extremists. 
There is no code to pay income tax on the books but if you say anything about not paying income tax, they will try to destroy you even though you are not a terrorist because you are challenging their power. If you're involved with an alternative talk radio show, you're on their radar. Homesteaders living off the grid are considered anti-government. Suppose you write an activist blog or put up political comments on Facebook. Most cops have computers in their cars. They type your name into any search engine and assume the worst if they see you saying that we're living in a police state. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. Anybody who is against the government, the military or the police can easily be targeted as a suspicious person and hassled. They have a them versus us mentality. If you're non-mainstream, they can target you. I watched a lot of border security shows on TV. If you're wearing a heavy metal t-shirt with lots of tattoos, that alone makes them suspicious of your character. The authorities are very one-dimensional and cynical. They don't trust anyone. A common ploy is to act like they're your buddy. Some people in law enforcement are good people not swayed by the inner propaganda but many fall prey to their cynical view of the human race and the feeling that everyone has to be controlled somehow. Right now, the government and its pack of law enforcement agencies are trying to erode people's freedoms. It's evident every time you watch cops on TV them hassling people and arresting them for recreational drugs. In a truly free country, people do what they want as long as they don't bother anyone else. Cops don't go out stopping people looking to bust them. It's a fight to protect our natural freedoms against an oppressive government. Censorship Info There is a lot of censorship both ways, against the right wing and left wing. Christian and Muslim parents want all sex-related books out of school libraries including the gay and transgender ones. Probably the biggest censorship is anyone trying to criticize Jewish people for anything. The American Defamation League immediately comes out calling anyone an anti-Semite even if they seem to have legitimate points like the Red Cross reported that about 245,000 Jews died in World War II. If you say anything about that, they will attack you as being an anti-Semite. The Jews killed a bunch of peaceful Palestinians to create their country called Israel. I saw that video on the YouTube channel AJ+. If anybody tries to call Israel a bunch of genocidal maniacs for bombing the civilians of Gaza into oblivion, the ADL, Fox News and the bought-off politicians by APAC, American Israel Public Affairs Committee, will go after them. The new Speaker of the House for the Republican Party was asked what he thought of the people protesting for the rights of Palestine. He immediately said it's anti-Semitism. He did not say it's free speech, the First Amendment. They should be able to say whatever they want. This guy is the Speaker of the House. Who is controlling him? I watch the US mainstream news. I don't see much criticism against the damage Israel inflicts on innocent people. I watch Canadian news. They show some of it as their lead story. If you want to get the view away from the Zionist West, watch Al Jazeera or Russia Today. Books about censorship are at number 025.213 or Z658 at the library.indexoncensorship.org.nk.org. National Coalition Against Censorship.freeexpression.org cpbf.org.uk Campaign for Press and Broadcasting Freedom.ncac.org, National Coalition Against Censorship, Free Speech Organization. First Amendment Center.org, EFF.org slash censorship, Fair.org, Freedom Toriad.ca, Salem PRESS 580, Sylvan Ave, Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey 0763280 221 Facts. 201-871-8668 salempress.com Book Censorship, edited by Don P. Dawson which is considered the Bible of Government Repression. Police State Websites. PoliceEstateUSA.com KilledByPolice.net PoliceAbuse.com, The Police Complaint Center. BeforeIt'sNews.com slash Police hyphen State BrassCHECKTV.com slash videos slash law hyphen enforcement hyphen corruption hyphen abuse slash us hyphen police hyphen as hyphen dangerous hyphen as hyphen criminals hyphen dot html.
Chronicle.com slash article slash the hyphen American hyphen police hyphen state slash 142965. CommonDreams.org slash TAG slash police hyphen state. ConserveAPedia.com slash police underscore state. CopCrimes.com, CopCrimes. En.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash police underscore state. FightThePolice.wordpress.com slash TAG slash police hyphen state. HuffingtonPost.com slash news slash police hyphen state. NaturalNews.com slash police underscore state dot HTML. PoliceEstate.co.uk. P-O-L-I-C-E dash S-T-A-T-E dot net. PoliceEstatadaily.com. PoliceEstateUSA.com. RationalWiki.org slash wiki slash police underscore state. Chapter 2. A Government Watchdog Guide. Government Transparency Website Sconvio.net. Help open access to CRS reports, open the government, fedspending.argopensecrets.org pass223.com, urge your senators to file their campaign finance reports electronically.publicmarkup.org slash bill slash transparency hyphen government hyphen act hyphen 2008 comma the government transparency act of 2008 taxpayer.net slash resources.fbuxusa.org, union of concerned scientists USA spending.gov where Americans can see where their money goes. Government activist websites. Religious Freedom Act Amendments of 1994. The Native American Church. The CRE.com slash FedLaw slash Legal 22X slash IPA Amen. HDM. U.S. Department of State Civil Rights. State.gov slash S slash OCR. Department of Homeland Security Training and Education, Office of. Civil Rights and Civil Liberties. DHS.gov slash civil hyphen rights hyphen and hyphen civil hyphen liberties hyphen institute. U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. EEOC.gov. Executive Order 13007, Protection and Accommodation of Access to. Indian Sacred Sites. CR.NPS.gov slash local hyphen law slash EO13007.htm U.S. General Services Administration Equal Employment Opportunity GSA.gov slash EEO slash new page 110.htm U.S. General Services Administration No Fear Act of 2002 GSA.gov slash portal slash content slash 101344. Expression in the Federal Workplace. CLINTON4.NARA.gov slash WH slash NEW slash HTML slash 1997819 hyphen 3275.html. Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Welcomehome.org slash rainbow slash nfs hyphen regs slash rfra hyphen act dot html. Supreme Court of the United States. Supremecourtus.gov. U.S. Department of Justice, Civil Rights Division. USDOJ.gov slash crt slash nordwg dot html. Chapter 3. VoteSmart.org slash interest hyphen groups lists some government watchdog groups. Campaign Finance. Citizens United Political Victory Fund. Common Cause. And Citizens United. Campaign Finance and Elections. AAPI Victory Fund. Arab American Institute. Blue America. Bold Democrats, CHC Bold Pack. Broader Representation Advocacy Team. Brat Pack. Candidates with a Contract. Congressional Black Caucus Pack. Emerge America. MJIG Action. Equality Pack. Every District. Every Voice. Higher Heights for America Pack. Indian American Impact Fund. IVI Pack. Justice Democrats. Latino Victory Project. Let America Vote. Los Angeles Women's Collective. MoveOn.org Political Action. 1990. National Women's Political Caucus. Poder Pack. RightMarch.com Pack. 
Run for something. Serve America PAC. Sister District Project. The Collective Political Action Committee. U.S. Term Limits, USTL. Women's Campaign Fund. Conservative. 60 Plus Association. America First Action Super PAC. American Conservative Union. Americans for Prosperity. Kindu Conservatives. Christian Action Network. Citizens for Trump. Concerned Women for America. 2009. Conserve America. Conservative Congress. Conservative Review. Conservative Strike Force PAC. DC Works for US. Eagle Forum. Faith and Freedom Coalition. GOPAC. GOPUSA. Great America Alliance. Heritage Action for America. House Conservatives Fund. House Freedom Fund. Huck Pack. Independence Hall Foundation. Independence Hall Tea Party Pack. Keep America Safe. Legion for the Survival of Freedom, Inc. Liberty Lobby. Liberty Central. Liberty Slate. Mega Coalition. National Black Republican Association. National Federation of Republican Assemblies, NFRA. Republican Majority Campaign PAC. Tea Party Patriots Citizens Fund. The John Birch Society. The Tea Party Leadership Fund. Traditional Values Coalition. Value in Electing Women Political Action Committee, VIEW PAC. Voices of Conservative Women. Winning for Women. Constitution. Progressive Patriots Fund. Federal, State and Local Relations. National Association of Counties. Finance and Banking. American Shareholders Association. Financial Executives International. League of Southeastern Credit Unions. National Association of Insurance and Financial Advisors. Fiscally Conservative. Blue Dog Coalition. Combat Veterans for Congress. Freedom First Society. Independence Caucus. Maggie's List. National Tax Limitation Committee. National Taxpayers Union. Republican Liberty Caucus. Tea Party Express. The Cato Institute. The Club for Growth. The Leadership Project for America. 1995. The Libertarian Party. Fiscally Liberal. Freedom Democrats. Progressive Change Campaign Committee. Progressive Democrats of America. Progressive Punch. Food Processing and Sales. International Food Service Distributors Association. United Food and Commercial Workers. Foreign Affairs. Act. For America. American Foreign Service Association. American Muslims for Jerusalem. Armenian National Committee of America. Armenian National Committee of America Western Region, Anka WR. Christian and Jews United for Israel. Council on American Islamic Relations. Desis for Progress. J Street. J Street PAC. Latin America Working Group. National Foreign Trade Council. NewPolicy.org Organization of Iranian Communities US Resolve Uganda USA Engage US Campaign for Palestinian Rights Washington Report on Middle East Affairs, RMIA Foreign Aid Bread for the World Church World Service New Politics Gambling and Gaming The Poker Players Alliance Government Budget and Spending Council for Citizens Against Government Waste. New Democrat Coalition. Taxpayers for Common Sense. Government Operations. Freedom Works. Jewish Women International. Republican Main Street Partnership. Right Now Women PAC. The Luger Center. Women Under 40 Political Action Committee, WAF PAC. Judicial Branch. Demand Justice. K-12 Education National Association of Elementary School Principals National Parent Teacher Association National School Boards Association 
School Nutrition Association Legislative Branch Afghanistan and Iraq Veterans for Congress PAC National Committee for an Effective Congress Liberal Americans for Democratic Action Blue Rising PAC Campaign for America's Future DEPAC Democracy for America Indivisible 435 March on Progressive Action PAC Congressional Progressive Caucus Radical Middle Students for a New American Politics SNAP The People for Bernie The Progressive Vietnamese American Organization Pivot Military Personnel Fleet Reserve Association Military Officers Association of America Non-Commissioned Officers Association Veterans and Military Families for Progress Viotevitz.org Taxes Americans for Fair Taxation Americans for Tax Reform Citizens for Tax Justice Taxpayers United of America